guys have been laying there sleeping. It's time for a crow off. <laughs> I don't know exactly how good the view is right now. So I've been working on a nesting box for his wife. They scratched all the bedding out of it. I think she's up in the chair right now, yeah. But she can't figure out where to lay her egg. It's a little work in progress. Welcome to the crow off. It wasn't his crow to begin with, but he decided he'd better start and take it over. <laughs> the turkeys aren't amused. They've been laying here sleeping and then they got up. Go. We're, ready. We're ready to go back to sleep. <laughs> so, I've been working on a project or two. Oops. Patty, you're by his babies. Patty's son keeps getting behind the turkey coop and going over to his yard. And then they try to fight it out. So I've tried different ways of blocking the back of the turkey coop. And he got through like three different little gates. We had bird netting on one thing and uh, yeah, he still went through that. And it was a tangled mess. I couldn't deal with it. I don't know how he got through it. The baby turkeys love bedding. You know, there's fresh bedding that go and play it like, ah, fresh bedding and sleep. They're so cute. Okay. Right. Go on over. This is where they get out in the back. I had had a baby go there, but I took it to the barn. Locked it as much as I could again, but the red hens are coming in on this side today. And I'm like, no, y'all don't. And they came in and they pecked one of these girls. I'm like, no. But I've been sitting here trying to finally enroll the rest of this fencing, which it was tight. It was really, really hard work for me. And I cut my hands. But, uh, my husband's sick and had to go to the ER yesterday, so I can't really walk and do much, so I had a fun time <coughs> splitting up roosters yesterday because they kept getting to each other. I'm like, I have to do something somehow. Hey girl, I'm not messing with you, I swear. Oh, I didn't have to make that drop. That wasn't me, that was you. part is after all this hard work of enrolling this whole roll it was like the same length as what we had used already but and you know what the funny part is here it runs out exactly at that bar so it's not going to block that gap I'm trying to get it to block at all I was like maybe if I enroll it it'll go and this will at first I was didn't want to do this because I was like, it's just going to be a waste because we already have the coop there. It's going to be a waste when we could be using the fencing somewhere else, but they'll reinforce so they can't peck each other through it as much, hopefully. <sighs> yay, yay. Hey, turkey.
What are you doing, Biscuit? How are you doing, my Biscuit? Yes, you are. You're super cute. Yes, you are. Oh, look at you. Well, yeah, so this plan's kind of backfiring. Uh, I'm going to scratch around and see if there's anything I can attach to it to like use as a gate. But looks like the same thing I already had. I mean, I, it'll be easier to attach something to this. I could have just used the end of the turkey coop as it was. Sheesh. Hi. <laughs> They're like, hey, we can come back through here now. <laughs> oh, he's got one down there. He's super cute, too. Yeah, they all got out this morning, also, because turkeys know how to jump and, yeah, I'm talking about you. They uh, chest bump the door until it opens, so we need to get some better latches for those. Yes, we do. Yeah, it's in the backyard, and I'm working out there on the yard, and uh, I hear these turkeys barking because they do a bark bark. They sound like dogs. And I'm like, why are the turkeys barking? And I was worried one of them had gotten out and was with the big turkey. I called my husband and I was like, no, nope. I came to the fence and I looked first. I was like, uh, it's not just one, it was everybody. It was the rooster, the hen, and all eight of the turkeys were out with the big turkey. <laughs> so, I called my husband and I was like, uh, the turkeys got out. <laughs> He's like, that would explain why they were so loud. I was like, oh, you heard it too. <laughs> He started watching them. I was like, hi. And there's no way he'd come help. I was like, well, we just put the big turkey over in the backyard. We won't have to worry about him and hurting them. And he can't do that right now. My husband can't. So I was like, oh, well, maybe I can get warmies and get them to go back inside. <laughs> so I came out here and fed them. And there's a couple, the hen and one turkey that didn't come back in for a while. You're a hen. Yes, you are. That was a hen sound. Miss Biscuit's a hen. Right. Were you talking with the chicky? Hi, baby. Look at Bakey. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and Bakey. <laughs> Yeah, so it's been a fun day, and now I'm frustrated because I worked so hard on this fence, and uh, it's not long enough. Hey, you just scratched all that dirt into my shoe, ma'am. Do you know that's rude? Okay, it's not as rude as the hen in the backyard.